So, a little while ago, I had a few messages saying I need to check out Ghost Club Paranormal's video where a doll falls off the chair. People said you could literally see fish in string in the video. Well, I've got to check that out. Now, I've seen people in the past say stuff like, instead of just making a debunking video, why don't you just message them? Which has always made me laugh. Oh, hey, Sam and Colby, can I ask you, were you faking when you opened that door in your latest video? No. And uh, can you send me the raw footage as well so I can rip you a new one? You thought I was gay. Whoa! I didn't mean that. I just meant like I was going to debunk your fake ghost. Start talking. But anyway, I thought, do you know what? I'll ask. So I messaged Jade from Ghost Club Paranormal saying something like, Ooh, what have you been up to? She was like, hey, I haven't done shit. Here's the footage of mine and Mandy's cameras if you want to look, because she said she'd love for it to be analysed to see what the hell maybe happened or whatever. So I had a quick look and I was like, hmm... But first I thought, hold on, where are we? Who are these two guys? Whose house is this? What's the history? Has anyone else investigated here? So. My name is Justin Spurrier and I am a co-owner of this place. I'm with Spurrier Paranormal, it's my son and I. In Austin. And this is the 1858 Garnett House Hotel. Me and my son own it. Okay, so father and son and they own the house. What is this house? Everyone seems to be labeling it the demon house. Why? What's happened? All right, so not much luck with finding any history of the place. The only good description of what this place was is on their own website. Hmm, let's try Garnet House, Kansas, Demon. All that's popping up is the YouTubers' videos who've been there. Okay, I guess I'll have to just watch them all. Be right back. 10 hours later. Okay, I'm calling bullshit. You have all of these people claiming demon and telling this story to all of their viewers, which goes like, There is an unknown entity that terrorizes many people who visit here. The Grinner. He is said to be an extremely tall and possibly demonic entity with razor sharp teeth and a smile from ear to ear. There are numerous reports of paranormal activity, some of them even being darker in nature. An entity known as the Grinner is said to haunt this location, towering over door frames and intimidating investigators who walk these halls. This is what is here that is not human. Some people see what they call this guy the Grinner. The Grinner? Yeah, he looks like a giant. It's like half animal, half person, has like a Cheshire Cat grin. Oh, wow. Oh, so that is creepy, yeah. But why are they even telling this story in the first place? People call him a demon. I, I don't know what it is, but it's it's definitely creepy. And uh, you see, a, this is a painting that someone did of what they saw here. Big smile, ear to ear, razor sharp teeth. Full smile that goes ear to ear and razor sharp teeth. <laughs> People call it the Grinner Room, but he's leaning on that same bookshelf there. So if you see the, he's not even standing up straight and he's having no problem leaning. The Grinner? The grinner. And that's the, oh um, my God. that's the bookshelf that right here that he was leaning on. So you see how tall he is. Like what he's leaning on is, is the bookshelf right here that we're standing by. So that gives you an idea of how tall this, this character was. Oh, okay. Every time someone goes there, Justin tells you the tale of the Grinner. Right. But where did it all start? Someone must have come up with this to begin with, right? So, um, in the attic, I was up there one night and there's no lights, you have to take flashlights. It was dark, but there was something darker than dark, you know? And then you get hit with the, the cold chills, the blast of the, you know, the blast of cold air, air and, and it's the fight or flight kicking in and I wanted to leave. I was, I was ready to flight out of there and I looked over and I remember, and it was just in my mind, it was dark, but I was, I was tuned in. I was like, what is this thing? And I was shown uh, this, this beast looking thing. It had the grinner smile, but it wasn't in, in a human form. It was in a beast-like form with, a, I, I don't know, like the head of a freaking T-Rex, a shark, a big long nose, but razor sharp teeth. I remember seeing that and I was like, okay, so 
<clears throat> I didn't like being in the attic by myself to begin with, but being here alone that night was uh, extra, made it extra creepy. Ah! <laughs> he got shown it! That is brilliant! Buy an old house, claim that you seen a demon there, get your son to put out videos claiming it's haunted by a demon. I have never experienced so much activity inside a single location. Poltergeist activity, disembodied voices, shadow play, even some very sinister activity happens inside here. Get him to team up with Twin Paranormal because they will fill him anywhere and claim demon and then get other YouTubers who are desperate for places to go to film content and they promote demon. I saw you grinning earlier when you walked out. Are you the same entity I saw? <laughs> oh shit! Another one fell. Oh my god. Another one fell, dude. <laughs> <Whoa>! <laughs> And then once all of these YouTubers have put out all of these videos, charge the general people to go and investigate there. $350 a night and $450 a night, plus even more. These guys are absolute geniuses. The painting is another one of, you know, that's the human form. So people were seeing it in both forms and they've never set foot in this location. Um, excuse me? When a psychic came into the house, this is a painting of what they saw. What was that? When a psychic came into the house. Probably being told the story. That gets told. Big smile, ear to ear, razor sharp teeth. Oh, hang on a minute. Check this out. They've got another property. Wow! The White Face House. That sounds spooky. Why is it called that? First things first, you have this so called White Face entity. I haven't seen anything like this besides from this location. Damn, that is creepy. I wonder what the hell has happened there. Uh, nope. I can't find anything on this house other than their website. Hey Austin, what history have you got on the house? I'm aware of the people who built the home, who lived in the home, but I don't know what went down in this location. Oh, so where has this white face name come from? And like I don't get I don't really get that hardcore feeling it usually goes away. I just keep feeling like I'm gonna see somebody. So if someone tries to speak past those green lights, we're gonna get you. I dare you to try it. What? I just saw something. Why are you looking at me like that? Because I didn't want to look back down there. No. Who's affecting him? Whoa, what's the matter? Are you alright, Justin? Did you say you seen something? What the hell did you see? So what I saw was like it was hard to see. It was right in the middle of the, of the darkness there. So if it was on the stairs, it would have been like our height coming up the stairs, right? And it was just a white face. What? But it was hard to make out. It was very faint. It wasn't like bright white. Yeah. And it was like it was looking right at me. And then I just, all of a sudden I got so dizzy. Dude. Ah, oh, I've got it. Let's buy this place as well and call it the White Face House after claiming you've seen a white face demon. Bullshit. Hi, yes, so the idea I'm proposing today is we buy a few houses, claim that there's demons there, we're gonna get YouTubers in to film there, pretend it's haunted and also claim demon, and then we can charge people $450 per night to come and film there as well. Listen, one smart man, one smart man. So I guess there we go with the demons. They're both from the property owner's own mind. Okay, we started this off with talking about a talking doll falling off the chair, right? Okay, okay, let's get back to that. But after doing some digging there, I'm very suspicious that it could be some kind of string being used to stage paranormal events for these YouTubers going there. But the first thing, as you've seen at the start, there are dolls all over the house and they all fall. There can't be string all over the house, right? Just trying to go to the top it for a quick cheeky poo, you'd be like. Oh. 
If I was investigating there as well, I'd find all of the string. Okay, so they also say a lot to the guests who go there that the dolls even fall when no one's in the house. Well, if there isn't string all over the house and things genuinely just fall, well, it's got to be ghosts, right? Hmm. What about this? The train is mad loud or what? Yeah, it's part of the... The ambiance though, like happens like every 30 minutes. Like happens like every 30 minutes. There you go. An old rickety wooden house with trains going past outside every half an hour, like he said, vibrating the house. Just listen in the background here. This is the uh, pink room, pink light, pink curtains, pink wallpaper. And uh, the name was, was just a given. I'm Sarah, she was my favorite. She's traveled with me kind of everywhere. Uh, and then she ended up here, so she's like the, the star of the show, and I think the other dolls get a little jealous of her at times, but that's my girl there, so if she falls down, her pants might fall off. Just make sure they go back up after you're done filming the doll with no she, pants she, off. She. <laughs> because, that, yeah, sometimes you'll find her pants, like, completely off. It's kind of weird. The train horn was happening all while he was talking. So does that mean I don't think it's string in Ghost Club's video? No. I know Jade said she thought it was a hair. It looks like, and I'm going to stand by this, it looks like one of my hair. It looks like one of my blonde hairs floating past me, right? But to me, it looks way longer and thicker than a hair. Way longer than Jade's hair. Cut, oh my god! The doll came down the chair. Now, if you're struggling to see, I've screenshot every frame where the light from the camera is shining on it. Let's put them all together so you can see here the whole length of it. Let me know what you think. Is that a hair? To me, it's not a hair. In my opinion, this isn't close to the camera as well. It's a little bit far away from the camera because it's not really blurred out too much. If it was close to the camera, it would be more out of focus and blurred out. So what I'm saying is, if it's not close to the camera, look at how long it is. And I've been and bought some fishing string and I've managed to recreate it very easily. All right, guys, so I've not told you this about my house, but it's haunted. There's a doll here and it's possessed by a spirit of Maggie. Maggie haunts this place and I've just heard it upstairs. A little child's laughing. I think we should go up and check it out. She's in there. There's Maggie. Maggie, the haunted doll. Oh my God. She's rocking. Fuck you, Mythos. What the fuck? Ah! Ah! Oh! Ah! What the fuck? Oh my god. She was rocking the rocking horse. What the freaking hell is going on? So as you can see, guys, Maggie is haunting my house right now. Demon the thing is, we know anything can be recreated, but I've shown this video to a few other people and they think, yes, it's string, they're fake. But the only thing I'm thinking is, okay, say a team goes to the house, all of these teams we've seen go there, does Justin say to them, hey guys, do you fake stuff in your videos? Do you want to fake stuff here? I can set up some string if you want some dolls to fall. Personally, I just can't imagine that because imagine if he said it to the wrong team. If I went there, and he asked me that, I would make a video saying, oh my god, check out what this guy said. So is he just setting stuff up by himself maybe without them knowing? Who knows? But if it is string, I would say it's been pulled from over this side where Austin is. But maybe it'll happen while you're here. I just maybe, I don't know Not if you guys... maybe. It will. It will. It will. <laughs> it will. <laughs> because if we look at Justin, it's almost as if he gets ready for it happening and he holds his hands to say, hey guys, look, it's not me. And to be fair, he doesn't actually move. We couldn't see Austin because he was just out of frame, so who knows? Was it coming up the door frame there, over to the light inside of the room, and then down to the doll? Up to the light, so when someone walks in, they don't get hit in the face with fishing string like a spider web. Say Austin did pull it and let it go when he does his jump scare acting and grabs onto Jade. Did he just flap it up in front of Jade's camera after he let go? Oh, hey! 
Maybe it was just them walking on their old floorboards, making the rocking chair move, and she falls forward because they always position the doll stood up, and with her being top heavy, she falls forward. And that is one thing about how they position the dolls. They don't push them back, they always put them down, half hanging off whatever they've been put on. Even one guy says that here. This girl, she looks like she's just like on the edge, ready to go. <laughs> Look how she's sitting. She's very, like, pushed forward, so. Yeah, that one might fall easily. Let's just imagine it's string. I mentioned about hooking it up and then down to the doll or down to the chair. I was thinking, okay, so if it is near Austin on that side, I looked hard for the string around the area and I couldn't really see much. So like I said, that is just a theory. But why I originally thought that was because of everything leading up to this. People's reactions and the things they were saying. Let's look at the full thing and see what I'm talking about. You smell... Cigarettes, no problem, I'm very okay, so it starts off with Justin saying he smells smoke, as if he's leading the investigation. He walks through here, leading the girls this way. Oh. Did you hear a man talking? Yeah, it's a device. Oh, Entity oh, present oh, just oh, went off. God. Okay. That's us, Wait, right? But how have we not heard that the entire time? It hasn't went off, right? It hasn't went off. It's, it's like you have to motion censored. Yeah, but, but also... Wait, where's it at? It's in there. On the thing. On the Could be the light. Oh. So there's a motion detector device thing in that room and it sets off as they walk around that area outside the door. Jade says it's the lights and that's what I thought as well. Could be the light. Oh. The light and the shadow of them filming and walking around. Maybe it just set it off. The bell's still going off. And... Can you turn it down? I smelled smoke. I mean, it's we're literally present. right here and it's not going off. I was trying to follow the smell and maybe it like went in there. So you see, it seems to me as if he's going along with the device going off and crafting a story to get them in that room. Remember, he started this off. Now he's saying he wants to follow the smoke and go in there. I was trying to follow the smell and maybe it like went in there. He wants them to go in the room. Because they would... Yes. It would be going off right now. He's literally standing where I was. Yeah, we were just walking. Look. Yeah, I'll walk in there and see. How far do you have to go in for it to go off? Yeah. Dang, dude, he had to go all the way in. No, he never. He stood right at the door. Now, in a minute, Jade goes into the room and I'm not sure how tall she is, but Justin says here, he is. And at 6'2", whatever I am. Is he not fully going in the room for a reason? Will his head hit some string and give the game away? But to be fair though, it went off as he stepped in the room and he stopped. But I'm just telling you my thoughts. So... Could be a shadow. Maybe if something was in here, we went in here and it made its way in there. It's very possible. Okay, so Jade is going to go in the room now to put the REM pod down. Entity present. I thought it was like another spirit talker. Entity present. That was a motion thing. The doll came down the chair. Okay, hit me with a slow mo. Okay, get ready. Hands together, look, it's not me. And then I just want to see when the doll starts to move. There, its head starts to fall forward there. Okay, yeah, that's right, but look. We can't see his hands over there. Now, I'm just saying this again. This is just a theory. But after the doll is in motion, we then see him reaching out to grab Jade. But I looked on Jade's footage, brightened it up to see if I could see any glints on the inside of the room. And there's definitely something going on in there. All right, so check it out here. We can see a little dust orb, right? It's just like a typical little ball of dust that you will see. We can even follow it. There it goes. But what is that all the way over near the chair? It goes down. And see this thing down here? 
They're moving in the exact same motion and time as each other. Look. Looking closely, actually, it looks as if it starts up here. Check that out. There's something that moves in a line from there, past the chair, down to the floor, and boom. Then the big thing of string right in front of the camera. That is very suspicious to me. That's kind of where my theory is coming from because we see this in front of the camera. We see that inside the room at the same time. It looks like something's being pulled from here, going into the room down to the doll. Okay, so then what? No, I fucking did not, yes, dear. You're no, just, like, I fucking did not. There. What happened to you? Were what? You were, like, you were like in a daze. What? Oh my god, dude, I don't. Did I? Stop you're... that room pod. She. It's gonna drain it. It's gonna Wait, keep going. The ground. The ground. The hole just fell on the ground. Dude. Can you I turn the room pod into a siren? Oh, dude, it's happening everywhere now. But I'm worried about Mandy. Like, sh everything happened, you guys jumped, and she did not move. She stayed completely staring. I was and I had to, like, get her out of it. Conspiracy head on. They're taking away attention from the room and putting it on Mandy. No offense, Mandy, but if I just seen a doll come flying out of the chair and I genuinely thought it was paranormal, I'll see how you do it afterwards, right? <laughs> After I figure out what the f is going on. Something happened. I don't know. Something's happening to me. Right, I want to stop your room. Pop. Did you want to step outside? No. <laughs> no, I think no, you were so yeah, it's happening because I literally, when that happened, I was looking at the dolls and I was like, I feel so comfortable here. All right, so Austin goes into the room to turn off their REM pod. Is he really going in there to do that or is he picking up some string? Hmm. Now, like I said, I'll be honest, I don't know if any teams are in on this, but someone I showed this to said that Jade noticed him going in there. So she steps in the way to block him picking up the string. I don't know, something's happening to right, me. Let's stop your room. Did you want to step outside? Something's happening. Something's happening. No. <laughs> No, I no, think really like, something's nice. happening because I literally, when that happened, I was looking at the dolls and I was like, I feel so comfortable here. That's just another theory that someone said, so I've just got to include that for people to make their own minds up on. What happened? Because I don't remember. I, like, you guys jumped and she was just straight. I had to like say, the doll came out of the chair. Right, come on, Mandy. Like, oh, we were the only two I feel like reacted. Not surprised. He overreacts to stuff to the point of where it's obviously just acting. Oh, something just got thrown downstairs. Oh, 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 what the f what is happening? So much so that it's even too much for Twin Paranormal, and that's saying a lot. Look at Ryan's face here. He doesn't even believe Austin for a second. I would go home, like it's like an hour away where I lived at the time, and that was the first place that I ever saw the the entity. Did you hear what that? The hell was that? Did you hear that? It yes. was like a hiss. Yes. It was like a hiss. Like and once they go inside the room, I looked hard at both girls' footage and went frame by frame and no glints of light or anything. So did it get picked up? Do I think it was string? Yes. Just like they did when a music video was filmed at their house. <laughs> Do I think there's string on all of the dolls? No. There have been a bunch of fakers going to this house, but do I think it's them faking? Actually, no, I don't. I think it's funny positioning of the dolls by the owners and mainly just people in the house walking around or trains going past making them fall. As you can see, when a doll falls and someone puts it back like a normal person would, not on the edge, it doesn't fall again. Okay, guys. Now, let me show them this. Look how I tucked that. I yeah, pushed, that's that's up there. I pushed him back. If that falls, that's crazy. Like, his, I pushed... I made sure when I put him up there, I pushed his back against the wall. All right, then. So, what about the doors opening? Guys! What? Come on. Something happened downstairs. 
it's the same thing. Human movement in the house or outside movement by passing vehicles. Get some tighter screws on the doors and that will fix your problem. Or not and just claim ghost. So there we go. If you want to go to these places and see for yourself, go ahead and book it and do that. But personally, I wouldn't go there after watching the videos and I can see for myself that it's just natural occurrences causing this paranormal activity. So if you're still here, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Make sure to subscribe if you're not because it's absolutely free and I will see you in the next one.